Hi friends, Pastor Dave here for our daily devotional. And today I want to talk to you about God's plans and how we can trust them because they're better than anything we could come up with. Nothing surprises God. He has everything under control. I recently read a story about a movie called The Code of the Secret Service starring Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan said that it was the worst movie he'd ever made. But not everybody agreed with that. Jerry Parr uh, enjoyed the movie as a child and it inspired him to become a Secret Service agent. And in 1981, when someone tried to assassinate Ronald Reagan, Jerry Parr was there with him and he shoved him into a car, into a limo, and they took off going back to the White House and he saw the blood and he diverted them to the hospital and very likely saved Ronald Reagan's life. It's kind of interesting to read coincidences like that and to see how you never know what connections might be made in life. But you know there's no coincidence, there's no, there's no chance involved in, in God's plans. And I just think there's so many of these examples in the Bible. Acts chapter 9 talks about one because when Paul was on the way to the road to Damascus, he was confronted with a vision of Jesus who not only revealed himself and said, Saul, you've got to stop persecuting me, but he told him to go into Damascus and wait and he would be told what to do. At the same time, there was a disciple in Damascus named Ananias and the Lord called out to him at night, Ananias. Yes, Lord, he answered. The Lord told him, Go to the house of Judas on Straight Street and ask for a man from Tarsus named Saul, for he is praying. In a vision, he has seen a man named Ananias come and place his hands on him to restore his sight. Ananias knows about Saul. He knows that he's trying to persecute Christians. And so he, he explains that to God as if we need to explain anything to God. And, and God just tells him, Go. This man is my chosen vessel. I'll show him all he has to suffer in my name. So Ananias was prepared by God in a vision, even giving him the address to go and find this man named Saul. At the same time, Saul was prepared with a vision that a man named Ananias was going to show up and he was going to tell him what to do and he was going to heal him and he should do whatever he tells him to do. So God was preparing both of these men for their appointment together. And just the very next chapter of Acts tells the story of Cornelius who was praying to God. Obviously he was a God seeker and God told him, you need to go and call for, for Peter. And he even gave Peter's address. And so Cornelius sent for Peter. And at the same time that the men were traveling to see Peter, Peter was having a vision of the, the animals that were brought down on a sheet from heaven that told him God can make things clean and we shouldn't call them unclean. And so he was already prepared to go to the house of a Gentile by the vision that was given to him. So God prepared Ananias for Paul, Saul at the time, and Saul for Ananias. And God prepared Cornelius for Peter and Peter for Cornelius. And because of that, countless people have been saved. I guess our prayer should be, God, prepare me for the future and prepare the future for me. Let's pray. Thank you, Father, that you have your plans under control. Help us, Lord, to just trust in you. We know, Father, that you have far more foresight than we could ever have. You know the end from the beginning, and we don't know what's going to happen the next minute. So, Father, help us to trust in you, not in ourselves, not in others, but to trust in you. Guide us, Father, and may we have complete obedience to you, the great guide and the good shepherd. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. God bless you, everybody. I hope you have a good day and a wonderful week. Take care.